Schneider. Well, thank you, Commander, for that introduction, and I could not be more proud to look out and see thousands of American heroes in Louisville, Kentucky. Happy 125th VFW Conference. I recognize that we are land of the free because of the brave. I am a grandson uh, on one side of a Baptist preacher and on the other side of a World War II veteran. So I give thanks to God and I give thanks to you. I recognize that every opportunity that we have in this country, every opportunity that our kids, that my kids have, is because of the service and the sacrifice of our veterans since the inception of this great nation. Our job is to repay your service by treating our veterans better every single day and creating more opportunities for your kids and your grandkids than we ever could have imagined. I am so proud of Kentucky's Department of Veteran Affairs, which has now won our fourth straight Abraham Lincoln Pillars of Excellence Award, meaning we provide some of the best customer service for our veterans in the entire country. I'm proud of how we serve our veterans that need the most help. All of our long-term care facilities are either four or five-star rated, five being the very highest, and the commander just said it. After 10 years of trying, we are finally building another veterans nursing home in Bowling Green, the Spiller Center. It was a long time coming, but we are gonna serve our veterans in that community. And in Kentucky, I am so excited about what we have coming for your kids and for your grandkids. See, we are building the biggest, best economy in our history. Since I've become governor, over a thousand new location and expansion projects. We've broken every record for private sector investment, new jobs, best two-year wages, broken the record for exports, broken the record for tourism. We're building the two biggest battery plants on planet Earth, 5,000 jobs, and they are prioritizing hiring our veterans for those jobs. But my promise to you here today, and it's something that's been weighing on my heart, is that I promise you I will never politicize your service, nor do I think that the United States ever should. That became very personal to me after the attack on Tower 22. The attack on Tower 22 was an attack on our nation. It took the lives of three service members in Georgia. What most people didn't know is the Kentucky National Guard was at and was leading the mission at Tower 22. And I still remember getting that call, turning on the TV, and seeing a, a office holder in Washington, D.C. The first thing they did was use it to attack somebody in the other party. They didn't say we're praying for the families of those three service members that were lost. They didn't say this was an attack on our country and we should all come together. Because when people attack the United States, we stand up as one people and push back. We have got to get back to a place where we are Americans first and Democrats and Republicans second. And I recognize through my service that the things that people worry about most when they wake up in the morning aren't political at all. They're not thinking about polls, they're not thinking about parties, they're thinking about their job and whether they make enough to support their family. They're thinking about their next doctor's appointment and I am proud here in Louisville, we are working on a $600 million VA project. It'll be the newest and best hospital available to our veterans. People think about the roads and the bridges they drive. There was a little bit of traffic coming in this morning, but I know whose fault that is. They're thinking about uh, the public safety in their community. They're thinking about the schools they drop their kids off at. I think we govern best 
when we don't try to move a country to the right or the left, but we try to move it forward for all of our people. It is our veterans that have helped bring us together time and time again, helped us remember who we are by the example that you set. You set an example of freedom, where everyone would have the opportunity to pursue their dreams in this great state, in this great country. I am grateful for your service. I am grateful for your sacrifice, but I am also grateful for your leadership. And at a time when things seem to be boiling in this country, when some neighbors yell at other neighbors just because a registration box they checked when they were 18 years old, we need your continued leadership to say there are real enemies out there. Our enemy is not each other. And it is our job in this difficult and dangerous world to stand as one country, to show the rest of the world that the United States is the greatest nation that has ever existed, and we will continue to be a leader on this world stage. Welcome to Kentucky. Thank you all very much.